Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 5 of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. So, let's talk to this rock guy. At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. Okay, we can go to the Tiki Lodge in Molten Crater. Like, I always like Tiki Lodge, but it's actually called Molten Crater. Now, there's a lot that we can't get done here, so don't expect to get 100%. And look, it even has the same loading background as Magma Cone. Now I gotta deal with some tiki guys in a fiery type level. I am, on the other hand, gonna collect as many of the uh, gems as I can. Normally I just skip through most of it, collect the eggs and stuff, and then come back. But for this episode, I don't think we're gonna do that. Though the music here is catchy. I will admit that right now. Ooh, it's actually really good. Sorry, I had an itchy nose. <laughs> Okay, these are kind of like the pigs and rams in previous Spyro games, where if you charge into them, you can kill them, but they send you backwards as well. Aw, I just killed the cutest lava slug. Why am I so evil? Why is Spyro such an asshole? Aw, man. Sorry you had to die like that, buddy. Oh, we found ourselves a dragon egg. We found Ricky Lake. Well, thanks, Ricky Lake, for coming out to play, but, eh, we have better things to do. Like, flame this motherfucker. Straight up died. Alright, nothing left here. Let's continue on. Be sure to keep your friend Spar Man, I know how to keep my friend Sparks healthy. This is technically the third level. Why are you telling me this? Wow, I didn't actually have to, you know get knocked back on him. Oh, hey there, guys. <laughs> this this music sounds way too epic to be in the first world of the game. I'll admit that Spyro has one of the best soundtracks for games, plus some of the best level design. I really like Spyro, though it has a few things where it's a little annoying, but every game does, right? Well, actually, not every game. Poco Nien, I've played that game before. It's such a short, easy game. Like, you can't even lose. Ah, I was gonna take damage either way. Ah, uh -huh. thought you could stop me, eh? Well, apparently you could, because you slashed me into the lava. Like how after she tells us to stay healthy, it's like, well, I'm dying, so. Any more slugs? Ah, there's a slug. My lava slug. Like, if I find it funny how there's a save point there, and then a save point right out here. It's like, we don't need two save points so close together. The level's not even that big. Backtracking here isn't that bad, is it? Oh yeah, money bags is also here to take our money. Also, see, there's a level, part of the level we can't do, and we need bird. Anytime you go near the black portals, the music also stops, which I thought was kind of weird, but eh, whatever. Hey, money bags. Spyro! You're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Oh my god, you're such an asshole, Moneybags, but here's the 300 gems. Thank you, Spyro, and best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. Uh, okay. There's more than one in here, though. I believe we can get everything but one egg, I believe. And let's see what this guy has to say. Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. Yeah, Stony. Stony the Stoner. We haven't died in this uh, Let's Play yet, have we? Let's try and keep it that way, though. I'm pretty sure we'll die at least once or fail on the very, very last level of the game, because it is very difficult. It's not even really a level, it's a bonus area. But we have Mora from the Iron Throne in World of Warcraft. <laughs> hey, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. Hey, supercharge mechanics are back. You actually need this to get some of the gems here, too, so luckily, we activated it. And there we go, that was not that difficult. Kermit the Frog! You don't look like Kermit the Frog. 
Why are you acting like a dog? Apparently he's a dog. Well, let's go back and collect all the gems that we missed on the supercharge. Or that we didn't even make it to because we never made it to the ending of the supercharge. Oh, turns out we didn't need to anyway. There was nothing there. See, there were some gems right here. Oh, and I believe there's a skill point for finding that for some reason. Clearly that was a breakable wall, but <laughs> suits them. I really do love the soundtrack here, though. Though it does have it does have the Row! sound effect that it had in Magma Cone, so it is really just like a, a Magma Cone ripoff. And yes, Magma Cone came first. Though this game was this game was one of PlayStation One's last games. It was made in 2000. Still a good game, though. Graphics were, you know, still the same as Spyro 2, but amazing. I was actually gonna play Crash 3 or Crash 2, but I got into this game and it's like, ooh, this game's been good. Love this game. Oh, more money. Well, thanks for the eggs, sir, and helping me get them, but why were you locked in here? It kinda sucks to be just locked in. <laughs> Now I believe there's get to the lodge and then there's two more eggs. What are the two more eggs? Eh. Anyways, to get to the chest, we actually have to talk to this guy. Here, take this egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. You guys were giving away dragon eggs? Well, can I just have them all, please? Curly. Are you gonna be dumb like from Three Stooges? Nah, but he sneezed. Goodbye, sir. We have 33 eggs in World 1. See, that opens up this gate. Which then this gate allows us to traverse over here and open up this. Wait, no, there actually is two eggs in the Sergeant Bird part. There's like a hidden egg and then one for actually doing the mission there. And there we go. That is literally everything we can do here. So let's just leave the level and continue on with our life. Yeah, there's like 109 gems in that one area. It's actually quite a few gems. My girlfriend's talking to me. Let's head on over to the balloon. Really? The balloon? Hang on a sec. For some reason, my phone turned he into HD. Weird. But let's go. The balloon's all ready, sir. Just jump on. Okay. Now this actually takes us to the next world. Midday Gardens. Probably my... For a homeworld design, I like it, but for levels, don't like it. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, your highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid?! Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. You, come here. That's a big scary beast. The adventure continues. Saving. Do not remove memory card, though you can't actually remove memory card because this is on the PS3. There is no memory card, there's internal memory. Oh shit, this looks scary. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Okay. Now for this boss, what you have to do is you have to keep charging at him until he gets to the lava. And yeah, it's not like one hit to kill him either, so don't expect that. I love the boss music in this game though. Can you hear that? It's epic. Come and get me, bitch! I'm coming for you, you stupid little dragon! And then you gotta keep doing it over. 
No, you're supposed to go into the lava, sir. Brah! Literally, this is kind of like Crush from Spyro 2. In the sense that you have to flame them instead of charge them, and then you still have to run away from them. You can't charge him while he's in the fire. Though he will try and charge you himself. Wow, that was pretty much a free hit. There, he's halfway dead. Three more hits. Oh, also... He's, he's, I believe he's technically the easiest boss, though he can get annoying. Dude, that's not very cool. Thank you very much. Oh, his health is in dire straits. Or I will kill you, Spyro the Dragon, if it is the last thing I do. I will sharpen my fins or whatever they are on you. So what, does he gain the power of the lava? Oh no, he's coming back for more! I just like to hug the outside. Otherwise this boss fight takes way too long and that's it, we can't move now. <laughs> ah, no. And we have Grayson, a guy that I used to work with. Oh, he created a rainbow. That's cool. Thanks for the free egg. Let's go. I'm Audi 5 Thowie. But I wanted to listen to that epic soundtrack, and why do we have Zephyr slash Metropolis slash Robotica Farms background? Like, like, why? Why is this a thing? Oh, man, what's this? Oh, Bianca again. What did she have to say this time? More bitching and complaining? Okay, Dragon. You've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. Okay, if you say so, I'm gonna stay. Guys, how about we stay? I think we should stay. Now, I believe we have 500 gems, right? Nope. I guess home worlds are still 400, but underwater egg is our first egg. Uh, actually, maybe home worlds always stay the same in this game. That's a lot of gems just in one little area. That wasn't even much of a challenge, was it? Wow, no gems there. Perfect gem hunting spot, though. Or the fact that there's gems in here, and you might not actually think to come back here. Thinking that there's a lot of gems. Now, there are going to be some annoying levels here, as such as the one that's up on this set of stairs. No one likes this level. Now, one person I know actually enjoys it. And I hear a thief. I hear a thief. Oh yeah, ice mechanics are back, by the way. Actually, my favorite level out of any level in, in Spyro is probably... Hang on. Mingus! I don't really have a name for that. Uh, it's probably Monkey Monastery from Enter the Dragonfly. Like, it's a bad game, but that level is probably the most well-designed in there with, like, very few glitches, and that's Icy Peak. Icy Peak or Ice Peak? Icy Peak. That level is actually based on Canada. Bob and Doug. And, like, Bob and Doug McKenzie. That's actually what it's based on. It. Oh, shit. I thought I, went, I thought I left. That's where the egg was. But yeah, now there's also another egg down here, because why not? Also, I don't know, the game after this, which is Enter the Dragonfly, which, it, it just, everything about it was just poorly designed, but they were rushed. Dave the Barbarian! Like, it was seriously supposed to have, like, Nasty Nork, Ripto, the Sorceress, it was supposed to have literally every Spyro character ever out of the original trilogy back. But since they got rushed, the entire company died that made it. It was so sad. Hey, Spyro, Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spitting this rock at it? I'm pretty sure that's a target, by the way, not a doodad. And you just hold down triangle to aim and fire. That opens up Enchanted Towers, the worst level in the entire game other than the super bonus round. But other than that, that 
The rest of the levels are pretty good. I didn't even get close to you yet, bro. And oh, hey, Hunter's there to tell us how to climb. You know what? I'm gonna get you before the gems. Eggs are more important than money anyway, even though to get the eggs we need the money. There we go. We have Trixie! Trixie Tang! You know, from Fairly Odd Parents. Uh. Come on, collect that red gem, Sparks. There's actually a little bit of backtracking we can do in the first world after we're done doing Sergeant Bird's level. And hopefully I can get it all done in the next episode. Not sure if I'll be able to, but I'm hoping we can. Like, the whole fact that Cloud Spires took way more time than I anticipated really does hurt. And I'm not going to free him until the next episode, though. Because I always name the episode after freeing them, you know? This is a cool little little gimmick that I have going on. It works. People like it. At least I hope people like it. Pretty sure you guys will. You guys aren't the meanest people in the world. So apparently a lot of you disliked when I first played God of War, but then the God of War series grew on you. Like, it's like all these dislikes and all of a sudden a ton of likes. So I really don't understand people. They just gotta hate for no reason, am I right? I believe the gem doesn't actually go in the water. Yeah, I believe it just gets launched over here. All this money is mine. Okay, so far so good. Oh yeah! Since we actually collected as many eggs as we possibly could, we can actually unlock one of the highest areas here, and that is Bamboo Terrace. Which is, I believe, the only level in this world that you can't 100% complete. Uh, another Sparks level that, once again, we can't finish until we beat this home world. And another egg. Modesty! How you feeling today, little girl? I like your egg. It's cute. Okay, anyways. Let's finish collecting all this. Now, for that super fire power-up, we don't really need to go over to the description of what it does. We need to destroy the flower pots with it to get an egg. Also, we need to destroy that gem thing down there. We don't need to know that. She's a really long description of this uh, power-up for some odd reason. Oh good, we actually did hit it. Normally I don't hit things like that. See, there's only there's only four. Like it's really easy. I feel like the home worlds could have had more challenges in it, you know? Money. There we go, 400 gems. Perfect. This this level's going really or this video is going really well. Flawless. And there's that final egg that we need. So let's pick her up. Matt Damon. Another one with the egg. <laughs> so anyways, that ends off this episode. And in the next episode, we will be going to do my least favorite level of this entire world, and that well not my least favorite, second least favorite. And